Hi everybody, my name is John Nash, I'm an Asbury Park resident, and I'll be doing a four-part video series highlighting some of Asbury Park's businesses and landmarks located throughout the city. T today I'll begin with the Waterfront District. Our tour is beginning at the south end of town. This is Wesley Lake, that's Ocean Grove across the Little Lake, the, s the famed steam plant, and of course the casino which housed house the old carousel. We'll start here. This is the famous Paradise Nightclub, Copper Bar, and the Empress Hotel, which is on the south end of town. It's Asbury Park's premier gay and lesbian nightclub. Just across the street here, we're going to head over to the boardwalk. This is the First Avenue Pavilion, which houses Stella Marina, Asbury Park Roastery, Tony's Waffles and Ice Cream, Park Beach, which is a great clothing store, Cubicon, which is a great restaurant, and upstairs we have Watermark. Just north of the First Avenue Pavilion, we have Mogo, which is open seasonally. As I'm riding down the boardwalk, please feel free to drop any information about your business located in this area, or if you plan on starting a business. In season, this is where you would buy the beach badges or the season badge, and there's restrooms behind this. Crepe shop is here. Another great place. Tony's Italian sausages. And in season, the Splash Park will be open hopefully this year. It has been closed for the last two years. We have Italian ices. This is the Third Avenue Pavilion. Has Langosta Lounge, Pops Garage, Asbury Park Yacht Club, and if you're into arcade games, Silver Ball Museum actually has some great state of the art arcade games, old arcade games, and then Mayfair Grill, which was at one time the only business on the boardwalk for several years. There's Miniature Golf. and Marucci's Pizza. Here we're coming up on Pucker, which is one of my favorites in the summertime for fresh squeezed lemonade and beach fries. And right behind Pucker, there are some restrooms. Here's some more restroom, restrooms that are open in season. And you have Madame Marie's, she's been here forever. Eddie Confetti Ice Cream. And then here you have some great restaurants, Iron Whale, which they have an up, upstairs outdoor stage. Betty's Bombshell, which is clothing, pliables. If you have a sweet tooth, check out Sugar Pop. And then you have Tim McLoon's Supper Club and Robinson's Ale House. Over here is the summer favorite, the beach bar. You can have a drink, stroll down to the beach on a hot day, go up and have a fresh drink. It's pretty cool. Next up is the Arcade and Paramount Theater. Paramount Theater has some great concerts. There's some clothing stores in here. Coffee shop couple restaurants and then the convention hall at Christmas time they'll have the tree set up in here so if you want to take a drive down to the shore and check out the arcade during Christmas they'd love to have you next up is 
North Beach. It's a little quieter in the summer, which I like. Some great artists have done some painting on these structures that are not in use. I have to also mention when you come to Asbury Park and you need to park, you have to pay for it and you need to pay by using your license plate. So take a picture of your license plate, go to the uh, parking meter and you can pay with your credit card or cash. This end of the boardwalk has all been rebuilt. There's some really nice restrooms that are open in season at this end of town. And this is one of my favorites in the summer, Asbury Eats. It's a food truck court. There's about six food trucks that come here every season and they're different every season. So come check it out next summer. Another popular place in Asbury Park is the Dog Beach, which is at the far north end of the beach, close to Ellenhurst and Lock Arbor. You can bring your dogs off leash. And it's pretty cool. Um, during season, before 8 a.m. and I think after 6, off season, you can do it year round. And then this whole area has all been redone. This is the old fisherman's parking lot. And it's really quite beautiful. And I think this is one of the best kept secrets in Asbury Park because well, it won't be anymore. You can park for free currently. Okay, I left the Dog Beach, which is North Beach, and we're at North Eats. And I'm gonna take you over one block and show you a couple more um, establishments that are in town that you might wanna check out. So we're heading over to Kingsley Avenue, which has a a uh, couple restaurants on it, but we're going to start at the north end of Kingsley and kind of zigzag our way between Ocean and Kingsley to show you what we got going on in the north part of Asbury Park. This is the famous Berkeley Hotel. They just had a a, a great haunted Halloween hotel that you could have bought tickets to for Halloween, which was pretty spooktacular. And Kim Marie's is a, a great little uh, pub to have some uh, grub and some adult beverages. And they have a little outdoor area which is closed for the season. Across this park is the Asbury Hotel. They have Salvation, which is the rooftop bar. They have the Baronet, which they show films on during the summer. And they also have a couple special events up there. And they have a beautiful pool area. This is the Berkeley Hotel. They also have a rooftop. Um, they have a, a nice little bar on the Ocean Avenue side of the hotel, which I'm heading over towards. And they've got a nice outdoor area along with the pool as well. So the Wonder Bar has been around forever from my understanding. I've only been here since 2005, but the Wonder Bar has been up and operating forever. They also do what's really fun if you own dogs is they do a yappy hour. You can bring your dog, hang out outside. Eat some food, have some drinks, and let your dogs play. Next up, we're gonna go over to the Asbury Lanes. We left Ocean Avenue, heading back over to Kingsley. Here's the back of the Asbury Hotel, which is also connected to the Asbury Lanes. They have some great 
concerts here. I saw Bishop Briggs at the Asbury Lanes um, at the Convention Hall. I've seen, I'm sorry, at the Paramount Theater, which is um, that structure there. We've seen Hall and Oates. I've seen, um, who else did I see there? I saw Adam Ant, um, just a wide range of music venue, uh, uh, performers at that venue. So now we're gonna head down Kingsley. And if you'd like to go around town the way I am, they do rent scooters. This is the, one of the newest buildings, actually the newest building in town. If you're looking for a, a, a beachfront condo, this is the most luxurious building we have right now in Asbury Park. Coming up on the right is a, another famous restaurant in town called Porta. Um, they have great pizzas, salads, uh, they also have a nice outdoor area which you can use. And next we're off to the famous Stone Pony. They have a huge summer stage. We've seen all kinds of concerts there, everything from the Go-Go's to Billy Idol to you name it, they've kind of performed here. So that's it. This was the Asbury Park waterfront. I hope you enjoyed my video of the Asbury Park waterfront. I will continue with parts two and three. If you are interested in a place in Asbury Park or starting a business, again, I'm a real estate agent, John Nash, EXP Realty. My phone number is 908-565-0063. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.